How's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. Today we're going to be looking at the new mode, the new viewing mode in Premiere Pro called Freeform View, and how you can use Freeform View to start assembling rough cuts straight in the project window without having to go through the source panel or your timeline. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty interesting new way of editing if you've been editing so far with Premiere Pro. So let's have a look. Okay, so this is the edit that I did for this DJ for Vedran. Um, it's a few months old. You can see the finished product on my channel or actually, wait, which side is it? Up there, it's up there. You can see it there. But essentially how I went about editing this, about building this edit, is pretty much how I go about building any edit in Premiere Pro. I would import my footage into the project window. Then I would drop this down. I would enable thumbnails with these three things here. Make sure thumbnails is enabled so that I can see the actual clips just like that, just as an outline. And then I can select the ones I want, open them up in the source monitor, and then scan along until I find where I want my in points to be. In points? My points. My in points. In points. In points. Um, and then you set your in and out points with I and O on the keyboard, and then you drag that down to your timeline, and that is that selection of that clip done. And then you move on to the next clip. That's how I have been editing for the last like 10 years, and that is probably how I will continue to edit because old dog can't learn new tricks. Now about like five years ago, I reckon, five, six years ago maybe, um, Premiere Pro brought in the icon view, which allowed you to scrub through your footage, your clips, so that you could just get a very quick kind of glance, at a glance, uh, thumbnail overview, like an animated thumbnail. There you go. And that was quite handy because it allowed you to see what was in every take. And I think you could even set in and out points if you wanted to, but it didn't allow you to organize the clips in any way. So it meant that they were either going to be named uh, alphabetically or by time code. And that was a little bit rigid. It kind of defeated the point of being able to go through the clip by clip and set your in and out points and all that until until Adobe went the extra step and created the freeform view, which is down here. Now the freeform view essentially allows you to just move things around however you want them, to organize them, to stack them, to group them, no problem. So if we open up this folder that has my clips in it, and while this window here is highlighted, I'm just gonna hit the apostrophe key to make it you know, completely fill that screen. Now it might not be the apostrophe on your computer, it might be can you see that? It might be that key right there. For me, it's that key right there. It's easier than showing it on the screen somehow. But anyway, now that my entire screen is filled, I can actually start assembling a little rough cut with this. I can say, okay, well, this is the walking scene where he's walking down the road. So let's have all of the shots from him walking down the road. Uh, no, that's him looking down that well. That's the well, that's all the well. And there's a walking one, okay. And that way you have those four clips, which are the walking clips. Now, if you select the clip, you can scrub through it like you could before. You can see there's a little playhead there. You can click and drag through it and you can say, okay, well, that looks, that looks like roughly the part that I want to use. So you can hit I on the keyboard, set an in point, press play, it'll play through the clip. Cool, hit out or O to select your out point onto the next one and do that through those clips so that you can select your in and out points roughly because it's a rough cut. And then you could assemble the second scene, which would be, you know, him walking down and finding the tunnel. And then the third scene, which would be him actually looking inside the tunnel. And you notice the differences in sizes of thumbnails there. Well, that's really cool because you can right click, come down to clip size and you can accentuate certain clips or minimize other clips. Like we could say, well, that one, that's not a great take, so we'll make that take small. This one, however, fantastic take, so let's make it extra large. Also, if you just want to see details while you're setting your in and out points, you can make it extra large and then minimize it when you're done. There's really a multitude of options. And you can adjust the size, the overview scale of you know that whole window with this bar down here as you could before. But so now let's say you're ready to drag this sequence here, this scene onto a timeline. Well, you just select the clips sequentially, holding control or command, and then just hit that little button to get out of the full screen again, and then click and drag, bam, there you go. That is your rough cut. And now you can start fine tuning that or move on to the next scene and start editing 
editing, start choosing the rushes, the in and outs of the rushes on your next scene in that panel again. There you go. And alternatively, if you have them all selected and you want just a little bit more control over bringing them in, you can choose this automate to sequence button here. And this will actually show you a lot more options that you have when you're bringing it from the panel to the timeline. So we can have a zero frames overlap. We don't want to apply the default video transition because that would be a crossfade. We don't want that. We could just choose to ignore audio and then import that. And there you go. It's imported that in the sequence as I had it as well. I mean, it's identical to this because I didn't change anything, but there you go. Only thing here is that you can't just drag them all and dump them on a timeline because for some reason, it sometimes messes up the order of the clips. So it might be that this one ends up first, then this one, then this one, then this one. The only way to make sure that it appears sequentially as you have it here is to start with this one and then hold control or command and click the next one, click the next one and add them that way. Bit of a pain. Uh, there's probably something that will be fixed in future updates though. So why is this mode really interesting? As a Premiere Pro user, it's really interesting because it allows you to assemble a rough cut when you haven't shot something sequentially. I shot this sequentially. I shot him walking down the road, then I went for the over the shoulder shot, then I went for the close up reaction shot, and then we moved on to the next scene. Um, but if you haven't shot these sequentially, then it's brilliant because it really allows you to build it out as if it were shot sequentially so that you can get just as an editor a bit more of a clear sight about what was filmed if you didn't film it or just remember how you filmed it if you did film it or at least build it to a script rather than just how things happened during the shoot. Now, I'm not saying it's going to replace, you know, the conventional editing workflow that I have, but it's nice to know that it's there and it's definitely going to going to allow me to be a little bit more modular and it's a little bit less restrictive than it is having to go through the project manager into the source panel and then onto the timeline. Being able to do it all within there, especially if you have proxies loaded up, it's going to scrub through that really easily. Uh, so for drone footage, for red footage, for anything that is just a bit chunkier, um, it's going to scrub through it beautifully. So yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's pretty cool. Let me know in the comments what you think. Have you used this mode already? Have you found that there's any problems with it, or do you have any advice? Am I using it wrong? I don't know. I've only started playing with it really, but it. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, let me know what you think down below. Okay, thank you for watching. Give this a thumbs up if you liked what you saw and hit that subscribe button to get more videos from me at DoD Media. It's Premiere Pro tutorials, it's After Effects tutorials, it's Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials, it's gear reviews, and um, actually that's it. Cheers.